Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome to a new episode. As you can see from the title, we're going to install Pawn Drop on Docker. Before we start, don't forget to like, share the videos, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Now, without any delay, let's go to GitHub. So I can actually show you what we're going to do today. And as I said, I'm going to install on Docker Pondrop. Pondrop is a self-deployable file hosting service for Red Teamers, allowing it to easily upload and share payloads over HTTP and web devs. So without any delay, let me go and show you how I do it very easily. Again, all the information in the description below. I'm going to use Portainer to make it easy to install. And I'm going to guide you on how to do it. I'm going to also leave the actual uh, code you need to insert on the stack on my GitHub page as well. All right. Uh, if you add my old list when I done my uh, Portana list, you will find the port, you know already installed um, from the, the the templates. So you don't need to do this if you already got that one. But otherwise, you can just follow me. So I'm going to start a new stack. First of all, let me go back to container. I got pound drop here. Now, if I go back here, I want to just go and copy. Let me go and copy the actual code himself. All right, so I'm going to go to the Docker.com, the hub, where I'm going to copy the code. Um, this is not exactly what I'm using, but to make it easy for you to install, I'm going to use this one so I can actually leave you a link in the description. So all you got to do is just copy and paste and change a few things accordingly that I'm going to show you as well. For example, the PUID, the PGID, make sure is the one you actually use so it's the id make sure you actually put the right one right this is for the permission 1000 for me is correct now another thing i want to do i need the actual path so if i go back to my uh let me go pull drop the actual installation i can actually copy the path and all the information that i need again make sure for the volume you got the right information of your installation of a docker for the image, I'm going to also use this one, the one I just copied, just to make it easy for you, so you don't have to change as well. And this is what I want to change, the actual volume, the first path. So that's what I need to do. I go, go and, and there we go. I'm going to copy this one here and just make sure, because this is what I need for my new installation. I just want to use the same volume so I know where I'm standing. There we go. So I'm going to change the first part of the volume with this one here. Let's go back. And I'm going to paste it. There we go. We got the volume set. We got the port. I know I'm using 8080 and 8000. So I'm going to do 8123. The secret path is pull drop. Again, it's optional, but you want to change that. That is the actual path you're going to put after the IP. And I'm going to show you later as well. Once you're happy, just click on deploy the stack. But before I do that, I want to delete this one here so I'm going to remove you don't have to do this step by the way so once you're happy you click on deploy and wait until the installation is done all right so the stack has been successfully deployed and we are ready to go it's very simple to access now if you got the docker uh, sorry portainer installed properly and the settings you have already under your IP all you got to do is just click on the published port and you should be ready to go. And the first time you go there, it will ask you to set up a admin uh, login, right? Now let's have a look here. It's not lo um, loaded yet. So perhaps something is happening in the background. Again, this server is not that fast. So it takes a little bit of time. Yours might be much faster. So again, it could be straight away. Let's go back and let's restart again. And I forgot to put pawn drop on the front this is the reason why it did happen again when you installed it says optional you have to actually put pawn drop if you don't put anything it will be okay because i put pawn drop there you need the pawn drop after the slash so the username and the password and retype the password and that is to set up the admin once you've done that and you create the account all you got to do 
just log in again with the same credential and you're ready to go to upload the files and share it. To upload, just what you do, just click on the upload or you can just drag and drop a file if you want to. Again, here we got the settings. Again, the secret path, you can actually change that as well after. You got the secret code value, uh, sorry, the secret cookie value. Again, you can change that. And the actual cookie name as well, you can actually change that as well. Here we go, now we're gonna choose one of the files. So you can see, once you click upload, you choose the file and they will upload to your phone drop. Once that has been done, it will be available under HTTP and web dev. Again, you can have a multiple files, you can put audios, whatever. And as you can see here, you can actually drag and drop as well, as I said there before. Logically, it's a 700K, so it's very fast. So as you can see, both are being uploaded. You can actually make it available or disable it. Again, you can change some of the information. This is something good. You can use Farcade, so you can actually have a fake files to help you as well, just in case you don't want to people to download the file directly. So you can actually have that particular feature as well. Don't forget all this information in the description so you can read more on their website. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy the HTTP and I'm going to paste it so you can actually see it works and the file opens like this and all you got to do you can actually copy uh, sorry you can actually download it from here it's very simple you just click on the three line menu there and download the file or you can actually watch it it's up to you delete just press the x and as you can see you can actually delete the files where you don't need it anymore so anyway guys thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did and don't forget again guys to like subscribe without you subscribing without you like and share my videos this is not possible so thank you again for what you're doing and i'll see you next time